Okay, I'm going to make this video for some people out there that might develop or might come across this problem. Say you're taking a shower and... You come across the issue that you're getting water backing up, or not backing up, but filling up into your tub, because backing up is another problem. Now, this, pro this tub, I've solved the problem already. I've got the plunger down just to simulate the tub filling up. Okay, most of the time, I'm not going to say all the time, most of the time, 98% of the time, your problem is literally right in here. Okay, it's literally right in here, and I'm going to show you where that problem can arise. You can see this is clear, but just a half hour ago, it was literally just not going down. Okay, you got to get down and dirty with this stuff, okay? Basically, what you're going to do is a couple of different types if you have this kind of setup. You have to have this kind of setup. If you don't, there's another type that's got a lever that goes up and down. It's basically the same type, same type of thing. This is a little more fancy. You turn the knob and it lowers the plug, okay? The other one's got a lever. You go up and down, it does the same thing. Lowers the plug. If you've got that kind of a setup and all of a sudden it starts backing up, okay, well, we're going to show you what you're going to do. Okay, if you've got this kind of setup, you need to take off this screw right here. This can be a little bit of a pain because this is really a three-screw setup. The other one is a two screw, but once you take this off, it becomes just like the other one. If you've got the lever type, you don't need to remove this because it doesn't exist. Okay, hold on a second while I switch tools. If you have this type, you'll have to remove that center screw and then start prying this off. Like that. Now, if you've got the lever type, the lever would be right here, and it would do the same thing. It'll lower that, and you'll find these two screws right here. Okay, those are the two screws that are very important. Okay, before you do that, take this out. Okay, see? Nothing holding it. No biggie. Okay, then you're going to loosen these two screws like so. You can sing a song while you do it. Okay, it's not a big deal. You're not going to break nothing. And you just sing the deal. And you just keep loosening them until they come off. Don't do that because if it goes down the drain, you've got a problem. You're going to put them to the side. This won't go down the drain. It's just too big. But don't drop your screws down the drain. You know what you could even do? Put something over a piece of paper, uh, washcloth, something. Or you could be daring like me and be an idiot and probably lose the screw. Okay, take the screw. Now you can find out what your problem is. Okay, once again, if you had the lever type, this whole piece would, you know, you wouldn't have the square. You would just have the lever with two screws. But it's the same setup. Okay, you're going to pull this up. Now, if this should happen to come off, if you got a setup like this, that's what's going to happen. Sometimes it comes off without even taking it off. Sometimes it falls in. You just reach in. It's not going to go any further than, than that. Okay? And you're just going to reach in and pull this up. Okay? There's your problem. Hair gets all over this and creates literally a, um, a hairball something that looks like a gigantic cat coughed up and spat out and fell into here. Take a paper towel. Uh, you might not want to touch it when you see it because it could be disgusting. It'll be full of soap or full of God knows what. Um, might even find some other stuff if you know if you have a partner and you're showering the tub together. Who knows what goes down the drain. It'll get hung up on here. You clean this thing vigorously. Okay? Before, once that's done, once you got this clean, if you got a pipe like this, it's usually wide enough to handle the biggest debris. Turn your water on. Make sure the clog is gone. Ninety-eight percent of the time, your clog is taken care of. And then you just get down dirty again, get into your tub, and you're going to reverse the process. 
Oh, wait, before we do that, because this came off, right? Just kidding. I, I only have two hands, so just bear with me. Okay, you're going to pop that back on. Pull it off, put it back on again. Okay, water and, water and camera, not a good mix. Okay, now, I need to start fighting to get that spring back in there. There you go. Once the spring goes back in, just don't drop the spring in there without falls off and drops in, then that's a big problem. But if you're careful, that won't happen. <laughs> now this hasn't happened just as I said it. If it does, just line it back up and pop it back on. Just more of a nuisance. Oops. Okay. Hold on. Oh, it is a little the phone. There we go. Like that. Just push it back in. Okay, now the fun starts. I'm going to put you on pause because this is going to be tricky. You got to line up. See, so you got two screw holes back here, and you got two things here. And if you were careful, you should still have your two long screws. You got to line them up. If I can line this up, I don't know if I can only got two hands. Okay, there we go. And you want to line one up and just get it started in two turns like that. See, I'm good. Okay, now. that's got the latch, you won't be so lucky because it's just a round thing and you can't see what the hell you're looking at. Once you got that together, you don't sing backwards, and then you're going to tighten the screws. I hope you like my singing. Sounds like something out of a insane asylum. Can't say I haven't been there. I think I've been there a couple of times in my past life.